Western Cluster Limited reiterated ongoing commitment to contribute to the social economic development in Western Liberia. Since 2011, approximately, US 300 million has been invested in Liberia by Western Cluster Limited. And experienced companies, such as Gua, a southern area of Vandata Limited. A post method 50.5 million has been paid as social development fund contributions. Several critical infrastructure projects have been supported or executed by Western Cluster for the public at large and to ensure positive impact of its operation in the region. In your development agreement, originally envisage Western Cluster Railroad from Mano Railroad to Railroad Congo and Bobby Hills to Freeport as being used by NIOC and LMC respectively. However, the Western Cluster has not yet been allowed access to the aforesaid railroad route, which makes the Western Cluster economically and logically almost unvalid. Western Cluster's operation in Liberia was suspended due to full major situation, the Ebola virus outbreak and the COVID-19 pandemic, which are valid reasons for the suspensions of obligations of the Mineral Development Agreement. The Memorandum of Understanding is an enabling legal instrument to facilitate the resumption of operation of Western Cluster after the full major situation has expired. Western Cluster could not resume operations without such enabling legal instrument. Western Cluster Limited is a subsidiary of Sisagua, a Vandata Group company engaged in iron ore mining in Western Liberia, has reiterated commitment to contribute to the social economic development in the region through sustainable business operation, community and infrastructure development initiatives. Western Cluster is also working on generating direct and indirect employment opportunities for the locals across its core and allied business functions and generating collateral investment opportunities for Liberians. Since 2011, Western Cross has invested approximately 300 million in the country including payment for the consumption right, US 15.5 million payment to the social development fund, constructions of two major bridges, the Clay Junction Bridge and the White Town Bridge, upgrading and maintaining the Tottenham Board to St. Paul River Bridge Road and several other communities and infrastructure development initiatives. Vendata Limited is a multi-million dollar resource company and its operations are spread in several countries. The operation of Vendata Liberia are strictly consistent with fundamental principles of good governance, good corporate governance, with almost focus on inclusive growth. In August of 2011, Western Cluster Limited entered into a, a mineral development agreement with the Liberian government for the, the iron ore mine in and around Tottenham, Bombay County. The iron ore mine close to Mano River, Congo in Cape Mount County, and the iron ore deposit in Bear Mountain, also in Grand Cape Mount County. After submitting a feasibility study, 
Western Custard apply for Class A mineral lesson to start operation at the bombing mines. But the permission was not granted before 2014 Ebola outbreak. Western Custard also requested for raw permit to start the transport of iron ore from bombing mine as provided by the Mineral Development Agreement, but the permit was not granted before the 2014 Ebola viral outbreak. Also, as provided by the Mineral Development Agreement, Western Cluster obtained and paid a 44 acre tract of land at the Freeport for storage of its iron ore before shipment. However, the Ebola viral outbreak suspended the operation of Western Cluster in Liberia and the COVID-19 pandemic caused the extensions of that suspension. In 2022, Western Cluster sought to resume its operations and to facilitate the resumptions of operation a Memorandum of Understanding, the MOU, was executed between Western Cluster and the Labyrinth government, pending the negotiation of an amendment to the Mineral Development Agreement. The Mineral Development Agreement provides for its amendment due to profound changes in circumstances. The amendment will therefore consider all of the profound changes which have occurred since the Mineral Development Agreement was signed in 2011 of August. And one of these profound changes, among others, is that Vandata of Liberia Limited are now on 100% of Western Cluster. I repeat, Vandata Limited now own 100% of Western Cluster. Since the profound changes in circumstances made it necessary to amend the Mineral Development Agreement, and one of these was the Western Cluster will not allow access to the railroad route used by NIOC from Mano River, Congo, and to the Bombay Hills Mine, and the railroad used by LMC from the Bombay Hills Mine to the Freeport, forcing Western Cluster to construct a new railroad to transport iron ore produced by it. The, mini, the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, which is a temporary instrument that does not affect the Mineral Development Agreement, has been misrepresented by the media and other people for very several reasons that are baseless and unfunded. What is important to note is that only the patrol of reasoning could Western Cluster resume its operation after several years of suspension without an enabling immediate agreement with the Liberian government. The MOU is used as that enabling instrument, agreement, and pursuant to the MOU, Western Cluster has provided additional monetary contributions to upgrade and maintain the top board to the St. Paul Bridge Road, which was virtually impossible before. Also, pursuant to the MOU, another payment of five million dollars was made for the company for the community development for Cape Town, Bapolu County, and Bomi counties. And further pursuant to the MOU, the road permit was granted by the Ministry of Public Works and the Class A mining lesson was granted by the Minister of Mines and Energy after a second and the more contemporary reasons of the feasibility study. It should be acknowledged 
that the Mineral Development Agreement provided for suspensions of obligations where there is a full major situation. The Ebola viral outbreak and the COVID-19 pandemic are a full major situation during which the Liberian government declared a state of emergency. Those four major situations which made it impossible for Western Cluster to operate necessitated the suspension of its operation in Liberia. Vendetta Limited has a subsidiary. Western Cluster are committed to work with the Liberian government and the people of Liberia for mutual benefit of all sides. And we affirm our commitment to work within the framework of the original mineral development agreement, ex amendment, and any other rule and regulations which relates to our operations in Liberia. We wish to also assure the Liberian government and the people of our commitment to comply with and abide by all applicable laws which control and or cover our mineral agreement uh, operation, especially the Decent Work Act, so that maximum opportunities will be given to Liberians for training and employment. Wherefore, there is any allegations of transgressions or violations of any law or religion or regulations. We wish to assure you that we will conduct true internal review and that applicable remedial situations will be found where required. Will be immediately taken. We wish to assure the Liberian government and the people that we are prepared to initiate corrective measures to ensure that the Liberian government and the people stand at and the people, no person stand at a loss, injury, or any inconvenience by our operation. <clears throat> Those officials of the Liberian government who work with us and continue to work with us for the restart of our operation will and continue to be vigilant in ensuring that the Liberian government and the people are treated fairly while strictly adhering to the Liberian law, our mineral development agreement, and preparing of the iron ore industry principle of the iron ore industry. We wish to assure the Liberian government and the people of Liberia our commitment to these general principles to facilitate smooth and productive mutual benefits for our group and the Liberian government and its people. Having said that, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, we want to thank you for this uh, press conference and hope that given the present pressing time, we hope to beg for time that we will not uh, entertain questions, and in the future, we do that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.